Zeratawa. This is the untold history of York, the so-called black that actually accompanied Lewis and Clark on that expedition along with Sacagawea. Why haven't you heard of him? Look at this photo. Notice to the left side of the photo you see a dark-skinned man. That's the name, York. He was lived in Virginia and he lived along the York River. Notice we are either named by location, functionality, or appearance. Also, when you look at the text, you find that many Indian nations across America call York a black Indian, as if they were his brother, as I will show you he was, in fact, indigenous. When you look at the old posters of quote-unquote Negroes, you'll find that they have the same appearance or they're drawn the same as indigenous Americans. So not only are they showing you that they're the same people, you'll find that in 1790, Walter Plecker, the first registrar of the vital statistics in Virginia, reclassified indigenous Americans as colored. You are either white or colored. So all of the indigenous people became colored. This is Walter Plecker. This is this devil that created paper genocide against the indigenous people. And you find in 1924, they passed the Racial Integrity Act in Virginia. And this is where the one drop rule comes into play. If you are 1 16th African, then you are classed as colored in Virginia. If you had one African ancestor and 15 indigenous ancestors, you were classified as colored or Negro. That's unfair, that's inhumane, and that's paper genocide. Also, you'll notice that in African Americans, by Jack D. Forbes, Africans and Native Americans, he notes that many of the indigenous people of America were shipped to Europe and Africa. So in reality, we weren't shipped from Africa. We were shipped from here to Africa. And he also notes that at least 3,000 Americans between 1493 and 1501 were shipped to Europe at the least. And that's just 3,000 in that small amount of time. So where did all the tens of millions of Americans go? Because see, back in the day, in the 1800s and 1700s, 1600s, the indigenous people were called Americans. And they are Europeans, because that's where they came from. We can only be Americans. Look up the 1828 definition of American. Indigenous. It is the copper-colored people found here by the European, which is us. And you can see we're actually waking up as... B.O.B. is. There's uh, many people speaking publicly about our indigenous heritage. And on black, uh, on Twitter, he says black people were already on this continent as well. Slavery isn't the only black history. He also said black people are native to the Americas. What they don't tell you in history. This is El Ratawa Smith Bay. Follow me on Facebook at I Talk Times of America.